Hello, YouTube and fellow resellers, and dare I say, fellow Dolphin fans. We are back for a What Sold Over the Weekend. Today, or wait, well, today, yesterday, and Friday, we have a total of 26 sales, which is really good. Those sales equate to $1,126.66. Quite the weekend. After a fairly slow week, we had an awesome weekend. I'll take it. Uh, you have to minus our average sales cost, which is 31.2%. Minus our average cost of goods of 9.69 per item. Leaves us a net profit of 523.20. Gotta take the pay the piper Uncle Sam tax of 169. Leaves us for 354.20, which is a very solid profit all right guys so we have uh quite a bit to go over so let's go over it the first item a little bit of hard good action guys if you see these pick them up uh most of them are worth good money um this is adventure time card wars uh the collector's packs uh these four sold for 124 124.97 and i listed them last night The next item I have for you guys is a Peter Millar. This is their ultralight like puffer vest. Really nice. Does have uh, I think this is Bandon Dunes logo. But Peter Millar jackets are always really good. Um, Peter Millar, look it up if you can. There's always a style code on the inside. Uh, this sold within about I don't know two three weeks. Fifty three ninety seven. I'll wait that long for that kind of money. The next item we have is a Patagonia jacket. Uh, Patagonia is, if you can find it in jackets or like they're like kind of outdoorsy bottoms, uh, awesome. This sold for $53.97 and I had it listed for only a few weeks. Getting into that season, guys. Uh, funny enough, this weekend I sold out of almost all my Viore that I had found. So here's one. Uh, some Viore joggers sold for $44.97, and this sold within a week. The next item is uh, something that you guys probably won't even know. I don't know if you know this brand. There's so many people that don't know this brand. I'm just kidding. Nike, these are some of their Tech Pack joggers. Guys, I'm telling you right now. Look up every Nike piece that you find. You will learn real quickly which ones are good and which ones are terrible. And as you go through the racks over time, you'll understand what I am talking to you about. There are Nike pieces that sell for a lot of money and have a very high sell-through rate. I paid probably no more than 10 bucks for this at the thrift store. And it paid for it sold for $39.97 in less than a week. Yeah, I don't know, guys. There's a lot of naysayers out there. There's a lot of eBayers, YouTubers that say, Nike doesn't sell, it's too saturated. Got to price it super low for it to sell. Seems like every video I have a really good Nike product. Um, here's a Pendleton piece. Uh, this, it was one of the trail shirts that had the leather um, patches on the elbows. It sold for $34.97 only because I believe it shrank. I noted that. Um, so hopefully the person read that. Probably not, so, you know, I'll update you on a return, of course. Here's some Prana Pants. These are the Stretch Zion. I've had these for probably about a month and a half. Uh, these I kind of just list and forget because they, they're they just that. I mean, I don't promote my items anymore. This sold in, like I said, about a month, month and a half. I don't care. It sold for $39.97. Um, so, yeah, good profit there, guys. I pick those up all the time. Um, also, here's a brand that you should be on the lookout. Obviously, it's cool. Uh, their pants sell really well as, as well. This sold in under a week, actually a couple days, for 36 bucks. Cool is a great brand. Their pants and shorts are almost an unconditional buy if they're in good shape. However, guys, I do want to pump the brakes a little bit on cool. I have noticed a trend. If it is an older model where... You can't look up the style code. 
I would strongly recommend, unless you're getting it for under like seven bucks, don't, don't pick it up because it's going to sit. Here's a brand, Frank and Eileen. This is a women's brand. I find it all the time in the men's section, which is perfect. Um, this took a little while to sell, uh, which is fine. Uh, it's just another one of those brands. Sells for good money. It sells 35 bucks, but I'm willing to sit on it and wait because it'll sell. Here is another Prana piece. Uh, this took quite a while. It probably took me almost three months. But, hey, still sold, guys. Prana's still pretty solid. Uh, sold for 35 Um I have been noticing I've been only buying these under a certain price anymore. Um, and my thrift stores price them way up, of course, just like everyone else's. And uh, so now, if those are $12 and under, I buy them because they always sell for 35 and up. It just takes a hot minute. Another Viore pant. All right, well, actually, these are shorts. Really nice condition. Um, under a week. Sold for 36 bucks. Viore, uh, just about everything they have is an unconditional buy. Just buy it. It's going to sell. Even if it's tattered and everything, you list it for 15 bucks, it'll probably sell the same day. Um, here, look, another new with tags, Brooks Brothers, and like this uh, kind of gradient or multi like patchwork striped. Man, I'll tell you. This is paying off big time. I paid about 13 to 15 bucks for all these new shirts. And I've just been steadily selling them for right around this price of 32 to 40 bucks. And there that was a that was a good buy, guys. I, I'm I'm pretty excited about that. So do we have any football fans that watch me? Because man, I could not wait for today. And I'll tell you right now, today didn't disappoint. The early games were great. And my Miami Dolphins, people be out here saying all sorts of nonsense. And I'll tell you, we're going to be shutting some people up this week or this year. Next is a Citroen. Uh, this is a good women's brand. However, I found this on a new rack. I didn't pay that much. Sold for 15 It's going international. This had some serious flaws. Uh, the, sh the sleeve seams on both arms were the first seam had torn loose the second seam were still intact no holes but i'm just happy to get rid of it the next item is something you should also be looking at vintage ll bean i buy vintage ll bean almost no matter what um i really like putting made in america stuff in my store uh, in fact i just bought some duckworth and some origin main uh gear uh made here in the united states you know grown and built by American workers, I can get behind that, and I don't mind paying a little bit extra if it supports some other person who I know works and lives in this country. Um, so that's why I really enjoy selling made in the United States. This was the um, can like the guide shirt in this nice green. Did have a hole in it, had some stains. If this was in better condition, it was sold for a higher dollar amount, uh, probably closer to fifty. But this sold for twenty five. Pretty quickly, about a month and a half or so. Another Prana item. These shorts sold in about two weeks, three weeks, uh, less than a month. Let's just stick it at that. Sold for twenty nine ninety seven. Prana shorts are still pretty good. Um, they're not as good as Cool shorts, but they're they're still solid. Here's a brand, uh, women, another women's brand, Mother. Uh, these were on a new rack. These sold and were returned. Um, sold again for 30 bucks. Uh, some of the styles of mother will sell for like over a hundred bucks. Uh, that just wasn't one of them. And a mother is still like a top of the line brand guys. So if you, if you're a person who shops in the women's section often, you 100% are buying that brand on site. Here is a Nike on field polo from the Chicago birds. Da bears. Um, this sold within the week, actually. I just listed this either Thursday or Friday, I want to say. No, maybe yesterday. Anyways, sold for $24.97. Um, guys, Nike uh, Major League gear is always good. Uh, the next item is a secret bolo. I see these passed up all the time. But the thrift stores like to price them up. 
This is Fabletics. This is, I think, the only pant. Uh, these sell really well. Even though the website's having, like, some serious discounts on their website for these, um, this still sold. I mean, it sold within a week. No, about a week and a half, two weeks for $24.97. Yeah, guys, so um, it kind of reminds me of Lululemon because you're not going to find a style tag. So you just have to find the logo. Um, but good, a lot of times the thrift stores, specifically Goodwill, won't know that. They can't find the Lululemon logo, so they just, you know, price it low. I don't know. Here's some cool shorts. This is a um, kind of like a boxing slash MMA uh, short. Like, it, this is just a combat short. Um, Hayabusa. This is actually going to Hawaii, so thank you to that person. Uh, but yeah, this is a great brand. It was a small. If this was a little bit larger, it would have sold closer to 35 um, but 25 is really good, and it took about a, about a month. Here's a brand everyone should know. We got the Smart Wool. Uh, this is the Merino 150 plant-based dye. They're trying to be super environmental. Uh, this sold for 25 The buyer of this was really being a dick with their offers. I finally got them to 25 and was like, fine, whatever. Uh, but Smart Wool, as long as um, you can get over 20 five dollars um, for most of their items as long as it doesn't have any flaws but if it's cheap enough i would still buy it with flaws because it will sell for 20 bucks this took about a month and a half maybe closer to two months zero restriction guys is actually a really solid golf brand uh, this had some issues with this uh, black tape that you see here um it was coming off uh, so I priced it low. Normally these would go closer to 30 bucks, 20 bucks in a matter of a few days. That is good dealings to me. All right, guys, we only have a few more left. Here is a brand that I think most people are going to be very confused about when they see it as to why it's sold for so little. CC Filson. Um, I find this fairly often. Um, this is a small. I seem to only find it in small. But it, paid, uh, it sold for twenty two forty seven. dollars uh, did take about three months, guys. So not all CC Filson is built the same, unfortunately. But it's still profit. And, uh, you know, you're going to still pick it up. It, the brand is stupid strong. And uh, you just, you know, you just got to wait for the right buyer on that kind of stuff. Here is some cool Contra shorts. Uh, I used to pick these up all the time. I used to find them in my area for like under five bucks and they sell about $22, $21.97. Um, I don't shop the women's much, so I don't see them very often. I'm sure they're still out there. So if you get these cheap enough, they are still good sellers, guys. Here's some Under Armour pants. Uh, these took about a month to sell if you get these cheap enough as you can see it only sold for 1977 but if you get these cheap enough they're still worth buying it's just i i think i paid under like five bucks for these so there's it's still worth it to just list and forget because eventually they will sell um and right now i'm kind of in the, the build my store up for the fourth quarter you know I'm, I'm hitting new highs for my store in terms of uh overall listing costs uh, like asking prices, I'm up over twenty thousand. Finally, I'm up close to five hundred and sixty listings, so I'm I'm breaking my records. But and that's all great because guys, the more you have in your store, and as long as they're good items, you're gonna be more stable. Um, and that's what I've noticed these last uh, during this experimental phase since August first by not promoting no sales, increased shipping costs, is my store has ballooned. But the sales have stabilized. I feel more confident about my store on a daily basis. And as those listings grow, as my total amount grows, I feel like over time, uh, the business will actually be growing as opposed to just kind of in this like flat growth mode. And uh, I'm, that's kind of where I want to be. I want to be in a growing mode. I don't really want to be flat anymore. So, you know, I'm just trying to... We're trying to keep the profit of these items instead of just trying to sell everything at a low price. 
Here's an item that took forever to sell. And I think the only reason is right here on the collar. I don't know if you can see that very well. There's an issue, but it's an awesome pearl snap from Panhandle Slim. Normally these would be about 30 bucks. Took forever, so not for me 20. Wasn't gonna haggle. And guys, the last item is a Nike item that you shouldn't get. Um, this is when I used to buy women's and uh, I probably would have got these on super clearance, so they probably wouldn't have spent more than five bucks, which is okay. Um, but it is these Nike leggings. Uh, took literally forever. I probably had these for over a year. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And uh, yeah, these guys, uh, I looked at the style code. I knew I could get about 20, and they just weren't moving, probably because of the size. And uh, Nike leggings, unless they are... They have some very awesome um, styles of leggings that do really well. This just wasn't one. So, yeah, just make sure you do your research. But that's it, guys. I am tired. The yard sale for this weekend went spectacularly. The business sold off some old inventory, some old hard goods that I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing. We finally cleared out the storage. Um, the house made enough money that we're going to do something special with it for the kiddo. And, you know, we're, I'm just tired. I'm tired of celebrating so hard for my team because go Dolphins. Um, you know, people are saying Herbert who now? <laughs> like me. But anyways, guys, until tomorrow, rule the day. Like, subscribe, share this content. If you want to know what actually sells on eBay with full transparency, I am the guy. Tell people, hey, if you're looking to try to sell on eBay or any other platform, this guy lays it all out for you guys. And I appreciate anyone who watches me, who subscribes to me. We're building something great here. I want to be great. I want to be, you know, I don't really want to be a teacher to you guys because I think that's just overwhelming. But I do want to be a support person. I want to be able to ensure that I show you what I find and that you use your minds and your knowledge and then you do you build on top of what I'm showing you. And you become better resellers. I I want everyone who ever watches me to be successful. I want you to have more enriched lives. Your family to thrive. And, uh, you know, I just want to hear those stories, guys. So that's what I'm doing it for. I'm also doing it for be this because we have student loans now, car payment. You know, I want to make sure that what I'm wishing for you guys, I'm also thriving and striving for as well. But until tomorrow on a What's Sold in 24 Hours, rule the day, guys.